r slash ask reddit people with weird slash obscure jobs what is your job and how did you get the job i was a puppeteer for many years and i actually got that job from an ad in the classifieds it cracks me up that there is a scene in being john malkovich where he tries to find puppeteer in the classifieds and fails i work in qc quality control for media in one company they occasionally paid me to watch porn to make sure it was in sync and in good quality for video on demand distribution in another company i spent years watching movies before release in secure theater like rooms to make sure the files are ready for distribution subtitles and audio in sync no picture corruptions stuff like that i always got to watch the biggest movies of the year in a giant screen weeks before they were released sometimes months i got the job by going to film school I work in a lab where I raise moths. I got it by telling my lab partner that I love bugs and he hooked me up. I work in a clinical lab where I get to play with baby sweat for a bit of my day. We are testing for chloride level. Increased chloride in sweat is one of the diagnostic markers for cystic fibrosis. I'm a clinical laboratory scientist. Not all clinical labs perform this test, but I'm lucky enough to work at a lab where we do a couple interesting low volume tests. You know when you're watching a sports program and you see the little pop graphic in the corner, i.e., a baseball player's stats, or an advertisement for Easy Mac, or stay tuned for Saved by the Bell at 9. Yeah, that was me. I updated those graphics and uploaded them to Fox Sports. Since Fox Sports is a 24-hour channel, there's always one guy in the office 24 hours a day. I used to work on a lavender farm. It's totally unrelated to my field of study and incredibly difficult in terms of manual labor, but man was it a beautiful place. I tended to the plants, took care of goats, and did processing for the herbs and honey. My grandparents are farmers, and so I grew up with mediocre knowledge of field work, and beekeeping and, when a friend's mom decided to start a business centered around lavender she asked me to help out for the summer. Concrete Petrographer I just started this month. I studied geology in college and now my job is to look at concrete using petrographic methods I learned at school, and conduct ASTM tests, to determine quality of concrete. Very interesting work, because concrete is engineered rock, and there's a lot more to it than you think. I'm a house manager for a family of four, basically I'm a female butler. I've worked for them for 14 years starting as the kid's nanny. They're my second family pretty much. I organize tradespeople, holidays, birthdays, daily meals, dinner parties, housekeeping, the list goes on. It's challenging at times, but keeps me on my toes, and I enjoy that. So not job, but company slash industry. I was their first marketing person. I worked at a company that specialized in phased array ultrasonic non-destructive testing. The technicians made a shit ton of money, and got to work in crazy places like nuclear power plants in Canada and offshore oil rigs in Norway. They even worked on some of the NASA launching pads. <laughs> Official court stenographer. I type everything everyone says in court. I was told about it in high school and thought it sounded cool, so I went for it. Took five and one half years in college. But I'm nationally certified to type 260 WPM and regularly push above 300 WPM in court. I cleaned grills for super rich people in Palm Beach. Even got to clean Michael Jordan's at one point. And it was recommended to me from a friend, who was in sobriety with me, after I got clean. I'm one of two employees at a pet crematory. Past job, I worked at a whorehouse. I was the receptionist, guys would come and it buzzed them in after confirmation of their appointment from the intercom. They would enter, check it, get then a water or pop, take payment. Then it'd call a girl from the intercom and they would let him to the room. It is technically an adult massage parlor. I applied off Craigslist, went for the interview. Only real rule was receptionist cannot become escorts and escorts cannot, after chose to be reception. My dad told me of this one time he went to my mom's work Christmas party. She was a banker. As the bankers talked shop, and tried to sound impressive, the spouses grew bored and talked among themselves. The guy who drew the biggest crowd was this man who worked at a toilet factory and he did quality control. His job was to flush toilet paper, and simulated poop down the toilet. 
the people of the party, especially the men, were riveted by his descriptions, and peppered him with questions, while all these upper management bankers looked on with irritation. Water quality testing. I go around, and collect samples for various testing to ensure the water meets the state standards. I got lucky, and met someone who was volunteering at my previous job, and she told me to apply. Was not the direction I saw my career going, but it was definitely worth it. My job's not weird. I'm a welder. But what I do isn't very common. I build Virginia class submarines. I don't know, if this is obscure, but my boyfriend is a high-rise window cleaner. There are only four in our city. He loves his job. Sometimes when he is working, I will go to the city to the building he is cleaning, and look up at him on the street. So cute. Edit, only four high-rise window cleaners. We live in a small Canadian city. Also fun fact, one day I was in the city, and he was on his lunch break. So he took me on the roof of the tallest building, and fucked me doggy style looking over the city. I'm a potter. Not sure if that fits the bill for weird. I used to be the manager for a museum art school, and began taking classes there years ago. Eventually transitioned into being a full-time potter and pottery teacher. I work as an air traffic controller. Not weird but not many of us around. I pretty much fell into it, after passing an aptitude and it's just been swell since. Albeit. The classic phrase from strangers, isn't that the job with the most suicides? It might be, but I don't know anyone. It's actually super chill, and rewarding when you get it right. We always try get it right, but when you get it super right you're dead pleased. I spend about 80% of my day designing those large overhead signs you see on the highway. In the summer I guard, and clean the toilet units, not the toilets, for festivals. I got the job trying to find a cheap way, to go to the big festivals and this organization was looking for volunteers. So all I have to do, is stand in front of the units. Make sure the ground stays clean. Everyone had toilet paper, and clear a block of units, so the cleaning team can do their job. Another part of the job is making sure no one dies, or passes out in such an unit. You can't imagine how many drunk, often naked, people we need to get out of these units and escort them to the first aid. I mix fire retardant for fighting wildfires. A lot of people know that airplanes drop retardant on fires, but don't think about the millions of dollars of infrastructure that is behind that operation. Everyone who works at my base started by working at the local ski resort. It's a good way to earn enough money in the summer to coast for winter, so we keep the jobs among fellow ski bums. I used to cut pictures of wee wees and haha soft packaging of adult toys. All day every day. I got the job by being able to pass a drug test. The interview boss, can you pass a drug test me? Yes boss, you sure? Because if you don't pass I won't hire you. Me, I understand boss, if I pay for your piss test, and you fail I'll be mad. Im diver. When I was 13 I started diving, and in the army, I did it too. So I love my job now as an underwater worker. Not terribly weird, but definitely unique. I own a handmade business and I make cool things out of felted sheep's wool. It started so I could have extra cash to pay off my nursing school loans. Then I quit my nursing job. Now I'm a top 1% seller on Etsy, and get to sit around, and craft fun and colorful items, that I ship all around the world. I designed water parks. I went to college for graphic design and advertising. In my last year I had to do an internship, so I took one at an aquatic engineering firm to help organize photos. Ten years later I'm a project manager, and create resort deck and water park programs. I used to be a hand model. Apparently I have really really good looking hands. Although they look completely normal to me. People were always asking me how I got into it, so it was fun to bullshit people I was discovered on the street. Now I moisturize 15 times a day and sleep with my hands in plastic bags. The money was great, but I'd have to spend long days on set, being careful not to wreck my manicure. Which they paid for of course. Also paid for the time it took to get the manicure, mostly did TV commercials now I tell people at parties I'm a retired international hand model, but gave up show busyness for the much more worthwhile, and rewarding career of teaching kids to read. 
I have been an online community manager for over 20 years. I started in video games, and moved into technology companies. I've worked on everything from Star Wars to telecommunications networking equipment and software, that help companies move data fast. It started as a hobby. I was a web developer so very fluent with the web, started a fan site, and grew up at large. Moved on to volunteer for another game company who eventually hired me full time. TL, doctor, turned a hobby into a career. My parents are escape artists and escape consultants. It's quite a niche in the magic world. My dad started as a magician doing birthday parties as a teen, then got really into escapes. Then became the hash one guy designing and consulting on escapes for famous top magicians. I'll answer for a friend of mine, former college roommate. He works for a company which makes coin and paper money sorting and counting machines. They pay him to stay home and be on call. He's a happy guy. I don't know how he got the job. But he's extremely mechanically inclined and pretty inventive. Though calculus tripped him up, and he failed college. When he was in high school, he mounted a model rocket like a hood ornament on his car, controlled by a button on the dash. Not me but my mum sells truffles. She holds an online auction, it's over WhatsApp, to sell them. It wasn't a regular steady job, idk how she started, she started when I was in my early teens though. I used to help her weigh those ugly cancer mushrooms, and she paid quite well. I dry rice for farmers in south central Louisiana. I make whiskey, not super weird, but I'd say on the rarer side of jobs. And it took a... My job is to find old, sometimes obscure and sometimes BC titles of abandoned video games. Then buy the rights and revive the hype. Now venturing into cartoons, comic books and toy lines. Cameraman for Live PD. Went to film school, to make movies and slowly worked through Ice Road Truckers, Axemen, Boston's Finest, and Nightwatch. Found out I have a perfect blend of art and athleticism, that can be hard to find. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to the 